This video starts at the old George Air Force Base that is now the Southern California Logistics Airport and then goes to the Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale. George Air Force Base was established as an advanced flying school and then closed after World War II. It was then activated again as a training base in 1950 after the outbreak of the Korean War. It was closed for good after the Cold War was over. As the logistics airport and because of the climate, when Boeing's new 737 MAX planes were grounded, many of them were stored here. When the pandemic hit, air, tra air travel tanked and airlines stored planes here. There are still hundreds of planes stored here. Most modern military aircraft were developed and first flown in the Mojave Desert, including the space shuttles. The sound barrier was broken here by General Chuck Yeager. There's a lot of open space and an abundance of sunshine. This is the El Mirage Dry Lake Bed. This is where land speed records were first started. The Southern California Timing Association still runs races here twice a year. The same organization also runs the land speed records at the Bonneville Salt Flats. This airplane boneyard is at the end of El Mirage Airport Road. I couldn't really find any information on who owns it and what it is. I asked if I could go on the grounds and take photos and was told no, so I had to take them all from the road. The collection of artwork on this property has signs saying no photographs or movies and it's private property. As we were pulling up, the owner was opening the gates to pull in and I asked if I could take pictures. He said, yeah, come on in, and he let us go in and take photos. The plant behind this sign is Air Force Plant 42. They allowed many manufacturers to produce and fly new aircraft out of here. 
The famous Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is also located here. Many advanced aircraft were designed and built here and they have a nice outdoor museum of those planes, but it's only open on weekends. All space shuttles were built here.